What's up everybody, How To Tech. We're gonna do a quick reassembly of this Nokia 950XL. We're gonna start off with the front facing camera ribbon cable here. We'll go ahead and insert it into its correct slot. We have this long cable that runs down the interior portion of the phone. You wanna get this lined up on top of this white uh, adhesive backing that's stuck to the phone. That way when we go ahead and try to reattach the cables, everything fits back up nice and properly. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, but it does make it easier if you get it somewhat close. And it's not always the easiest thing to do is the cable wants to move around a little bit. So if you insert the cable up here at the top, and use your spudger to kind of get the cable to sit flat, it'll kind of start to line it up, and you can just quickly adhere it to the back of the phone. Then we can put the daughter board portion of this top part back in, the part that holds the proximity sensor. And it has the same type of elongated ribbon cable that runs down the interior of the phone. We'll insert it, make sure we line it up properly. There's some cutouts for uh, the screws there. We want to get it as close to being lined up as we can. and help us out just a little bit later when reassembling the bottom portion of the phone. See, we can't get this to here down as much as possible. And if you did undo this connector here, we'll go ahead and reconnect that uh, to the board. Just fold it underneath and get it to snap in place. Do the same thing with this ribbon cable, just going to realign it here real quick, see if we can get it as close as possible to the original before we removed it. Perfect, there we go. Now with that done, we can go ahead and take the entire portion of the logic board. What we can do now is snap on the connector onto the back side of the board. Feel free to fold it over. I'm just trying not to remove as much of the cable as possible. Then we'll also need to uh, reattach the rear facing camera. I'm going to line it up and give it a pretty gentle push. You can unfold it a little bit if you need to, to figure out how it lines up. We can go ahead and put the logic board uh, back in. Now it won't just fall back into place. We want to make sure the ribbon cables uh, are un out from underneath the board. And then we'll kind of need to snap everything back in. You can put the cables on right now if you'd like to. On these longer cables, make sure you press on both sides. Make sure all of the connectors are pushed in. You can push down on the side here, get this to snap back into its slot. Make sure the camera is seated properly and then you can push in the connector up here at the top. Put our connector for our volume power button cable back in. You need to smooth this out as much as possible. You can see it's a little pulled from uh, the place that it was and what that'll do is when you put the back on uh, the plastic that was over this, it might cause it to pull up. Not the end of the world, but something to be aware of. So you want to make sure you get as much of it down there as possible. So the next portion is this kind of this black matting. And you want to let it up as close as possible. There's these four cutouts for the rings down here. That can help you out just a little bit on getting it to sit back in place properly. You may have to pull it up and realign it you want to do this as few times as possible because the more you do it, the less adhesive is going to be on it and it won't want to stick down as much. Now as far as I can tell, this is purely uh, for a cosmetic portion on the phone. So it's not terribly unfortunate if you leave this out, but I like to say if it's in there, it's in there for a reason, so we're just going to put it back in. We 
Let's try to line it up as we go back down here. That looks a little bit better. You can take your spudger, just kind of push the corners in. Now you don't have to do this a ton. Uh, putting the portions back on it might come up a little bit. Uh, you just want it to sit down in place and then you can do it again before you put your battery back in if you would like. Now with that done, we have all the components uh, reassembled with the exception of the SIM card slot. I'm going to go ahead and pop that back on here just real fast. And again, you don't have to remove that if you're not replacing it. Try to get it to line up as much as possible. Perfect, that's put back in place. Well, looks like we have most of the connectors put back in. All the SIM card slots are reattached. We need to put our 3.5mm headphone jack back in. Let's insert that and push its connector back on as well. Alright. Now with that done, we can go ahead and take the plastic housing and put it back on as well. Make sure the snap underneath the camera is back in. And you can see that the matting is wanting to come up just a little bit, and that's not a problem. We can fix that at the end, or the battery itself will hold it back in place. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the remaining screws in. Well, there should be 12 of them in total. We want to put these in tight, but you don't want to snug them down too much where it's going to uh, bend or deform the screw head. You don't want to strip anything out. Uh, so make sure they're nice and tight. They normally have a little bit of thread locker on them, but they'll hold them in place on the phone. We'll go ahead and put the remaining 10 in. All right, we're getting pretty close. There's a couple more to go. Just one in the right-hand side up here.
All right. We have the phone screwed back together. We can go ahead and take the battery and insert it. This will kind of help hold that plastic lining back in place. Take our back and snap it back in place as well. Let's go ahead and double check and make sure things are going to function properly for us. This phone takes forever to boot, so it'll take a few seconds to get this started. I might uh, edit it a little bit to make it a little bit faster. Alright, if you found this video is helpful, hit that like button. You want to subscribe to see future videos. Uh, feel free to share this. I need as much awareness as possible so you can continue making these reassembly videos. They're not always the cheapest to do. Let's double check the touch screen here real quick and make sure everything functions properly for us. Never put a SIM in, so that's not a problem at all. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.